Hey everybody, my name is Dave and I'm here to show you an effective way to edit metadata before you upload your music to YouTube Music. So if you're like me, um, I was kind of bummed out when Google Play Music ended. Um, I got a collection of just dozens and dozens and dozens of you know, live albums, multi-track albums, um, you know, bootlegs, stuff that ne necessarily isn't for sale in stores. And I used to upload it to Google Play Music. No problem if I wanted to edit the metadata or edit the track number or edit the album art. You know, like I said, never, never a problem. But um, with YouTube Music currently the way it is, this is videos filmed in March of 2021. There's no way once you upload your stuff to Google Play, or excuse me, once you upload to YouTube Music, there's no way to edit the metadata. So I'm going to show you today how to upload your stuff and edit the metadata so that when you do finally uh, upload it to YouTube Music, it's the way you want it to be. And the, the tracks are in the right order of a multi-track album. So um, I spared you the boring parts, but I went ahead and, and ripped. Uh, I've got uh, Grateful Dead live in Portland, Oregon, June 3rd, 76, the first show of their you know, 76 comeback tour. Um, it's two discs here and one disc here. And, you know, if you were to just still listen to YouTube music, there would be the tracks would be all out of order and it would just be a mess. So, um, you know, I thought I'd show you how I was how like the way that I kind of organize things in, in my work for you, too. So, like I said, I already uploaded everything um, and make sure it's really important when you're in uh, your I, I rip my music through Windows Media Player. But it's really important that you um your album name has to be the same one. So I like to have the year first. So Live 76, Paramount Theater, Portland, Oregon, 6-3-1976. That's how I labeled each disc. And so another really important step, it's really important that you take the disc out. Take the disc out of your disc drive. And there's a little trick that I learned. Again, kind of everything that I'm showing you is stuff that I've learned through trial and error. Um, over the, the months that I've had to adjust to YouTube music. Um, so anyways, to get in here, um, everything is, so I, I go to my music. Um, so first I'm gonna show you how to like order your tracks in the right order. And then I wanna show you uh, how to add album artwork. And uh, I'm not like a professional YouTuber. Uh, I don't know how to do like fast sequencing or fast montages or anything like that. So, um, you know, if you know how to do some of this stuff, feel free, but I'm gonna kind of take you through um, after I ripped everything, remember it's really important you have the same album title for each album, but after I ripped everything, how to take it, get the tracks in the right order, add the album artwork, and get it into YouTube music. I'm going to show you that in this video right now. So first I got to go to my files. As you can see, I got a lot of, a lot of dead in here. Uh, let's see, better put it in order so I can find it. So live 1976. Uh, yeah, right here, Paramount Theater, Portland, Oregon, 6-3-1976. So you look at it and it's just a mess. There's three track number ones, three track number twos, et cetera. So what you got to do, it's, this is the way I do it. Um, I go ahead and I start by editing the name. And so see how the name, there's the track number and then there's the name of the song. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. Um, and again, sorry, there's no like fast sequencing. There's going to be a minute here of me changing everything. And then I'm going to show you... Um, you know how to get into uh, editing the track order. There's a little thing that you have to do with this number right here. And again, it's really important that you take the disc out. So there's no disc in my disc drive right now. Uh, so we got might as well track one. So this number one is dancing in the streets. So this is track number 11. So you go to right click rename um, 11. Press enter, kind of gets it out of the way. And then there's, let's see, 18. My, my track order on the back here is a little screwed up. So let's see, we've got 10 tracks. So Dancing in the Streets is 11. Samson and Delilah is 12. Crazy Fingers is 13. Again, I'm just right-clicking, 
changing the 04 to a 14. That just happens to be with the track. There's 10 tracks on the first disc, and now I'm on the second disc. Uh, Let it grow is 15. Uh, notice that instead of like the like the greater than symbol, it's kind of they don't that doesn't recognize that symbol. So um, don't worry when you upload it to YouTube, it will show up as the greater than symbol. You know to indicate that there's a jam sequence. Um, Okay, so there's that. Uh, must have been the Rosewood. There we go. So help on the way is 18. Slipknot should be 19. Franklin's Tower, 20. And then one more Saturday night. All right, so let's take a look here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and that's all the tracks. Yeah, so got all the tracks in order. I think there's a Let It Grow. There's a drums. Yeah, there's a drums and a back to a Let It Grow, but that's all within track 15. So yeah, I got all the tracks. Now, this is where um, – so see where my – screen where my mouse is moving on the screen here this column of number this is where if you don't edit this number this will not allow your tracks to upload in the right order so this is all good the first 10 are fine what you want to do is you right click properties details and right here it says one well i want it to be number 11 not number one so it changes to 11 okay Oops, I think it registered. Detailed 11. Okay, it should press enter. Right click, properties, details, 12, enter, enter. And it's also important that you kind of click over. If you click way over on the right, it'll screw it up. You want to click over by the track name. So crazy fingers, properties, details, change this to 13, enter, enter. So again, this is where um, you, know, you want to make sure you click properties. Again, if you right click and you don't see properties, there's a chance that maybe you didn't click in the right area. But um, just right click it again and you can get to the right spot. Again, this is where uh, if I had some, see, I clicked in the wrong spot and there's nowhere, there's no property. So I just exit out, uh, click closer to the title name and details. Um, but yeah, this is where if I had some fancy editing equipment or some fancy editing knowledge, I could do this in a faster sequence. So feel free to fast forward here if you already know how to do this or if you got it and are bored now. But I'm going as fast as I can. But uh, yeah, clicked in the wrong spot. Now this is just. Uh, This is just something that, you know, again, when when Google Play went down, I was you know really bummed out. I I, up, I upload these multi-disc track uh, albums, bootlegs quite often. Um, it's also good. Again, another reason you want to number your track title first is because if you forget what number you're on, you can just see like oh, 22 the wheel. So I changed this from five to 22. Because that's the that's the track. I keep clicking the wrong spot. But uh, anyways, yeah, this was really bugging me when when uh, when YouTube or when Google Play Music went down and and really frustrated. So I got them in the right order. We're almost ready to upload album art. Album art. There's nothing more annoying. 
uh, than going into YouTube music and there's no album art. Uh, here's kind of some of my YouTube music right here. I, mean, I just uploaded the uh, Dick's Picks 29, um, you know, 226.77, and I got the album artwork there. And again, that was another multi-disc track. But I had to do that the same way, even though, it, you know, this is a bootleg. This is something I traded for at my local record store, Round Midnight Records in Owasso. If you're a deadhead looking for bootlegs, they got all kinds of boots there. Um, but this is a bootleg that I traded for, and it doesn't have an official. It's not like Dave's Picks. It doesn't have, like, an official artwork. So what I did is I just went and, and I downloaded just a, a ticket stub off the Internet that, that was kind of cool. It had the date. So, like, when I'm watching – or I'm playing this music on my phone or on my Chromebook, I can kind of see the date uh, on the track without having to read the fine print. So let me show you how to add the album artwork. Um, so we're at the part of the video where we add the album artwork and we're almost ready to upload to YouTube. So go back to Windows Media Player, the same place where you ripped your CD, go to album, and then I gotta find live 1976. I got a lot of 76 in here. Now some of the stuff you notice it's blank. This I was able to do before the merger of Google Play Music. So all this Live 76, the box set that they came out with last year, uh, I know this looks blank, but I'm, I was able to get it uploaded um, and edited in, into Google Play. But now we got to do it before we upload it in uh, YouTube Music. So make sure I got the right album. Um, I got two different... Hmm, that's weird. I got two different... Yeah, tracks one through ten here. Let's see, live seventy six, Paramount Theater, Portland, Oregon. It's got you know any little one space is off and one little button's off, and it could, you know, kind of screw this up. So I just want to make sure. Um, yeah, everything looks good. So this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. This has worked before, and um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to images. Now again, to save time, I already uh, uploaded. I uh, already downloaded this this picture of this ticket stub right here. And so what you do is you again make sure that your disk is removed. You go back to your Windows Play Media or Windows Media Player, and you drag this over and you release it, and that will change the artwork for this title. And I'll add it to both of them. Um, like I said, it's happened before where it kind of shows up as two different albums, but when I it's in one file as I just showed you when I change the tag numbers or the track numbers. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll double check, but this, this is how I do it. So anyways, I go to my music. I got the artwork added. I just showed you that. I showed you how to change the track numbers. I showed you how to change the details and, and the track numbers there. So now we got Grateful Dead. We got li Live 1976. Uh, let's see, where's, got a lot on here. So here we go, Paramount Theater. So what you do, what I do is I click and I open it. So I got all my songs right here. And then I open YouTube Music over on the side. And then all you got to do is just click and drag all these songs. And then just kind of hold it and pull it over there. And it's uploading now. Again, not the not the coolest album art. You know, Grateful Dead albums are definitely known for their cool album artwork. But you know, this will do, like I said, if I'm um, just kind of looking on my phone. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always say the, 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 the total name. It'll just say Grateful Dead Live 1976 Paramount Theater. And then it doesn't say the rest. But if I see that, like, oh, the ticket stub says June 3rd, 76, then I, then I know what album that is. And, you know, the Dave's picks and the Dick's picks and the official releases all usually have the date and the venue on the album. This, again, is a bootleg. So I just uh, downloaded this ticket stub that I saw on, on Google Images and I thought that was kind of cool. So it's uploading right now. It appears to be going good. The test will be in just a moment when we see the results, but we're about halfway through uploading. Um, again, hopefully uh, this video is helpful for you. If you, if you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. Um, this is something that I've just kind of through trial and error over many months. Um, like I said, make sure you right click detail uh, to change the number right here where my mouse is moving on the screen. Um, something else, you know, make sure you go back to Windows Media Player and drag the artwork over to the album on the legal music album find the album it should have this like blank music note look to it take the picture you got to save it to your pictures but drag the the artwork over and that's how you add the uh, artwork metadata to your album that you're uploading and then uh, again i don't like to drag the whole folder over to youtube music i like to open the folder select all the tracks and then drag that over and that's how i uh that's how i do that 
looks like we're almost uploaded. We'll check it here. Yeah, speaking of artwork, I got uh, in the background here, we got all this kind of cool, you know, Sunshine Daydream and some Dick's Picks and Dave's Picks albums hanging up in my classroom. I like to represent a little bit. Let's see if I can get this camera back on without it falling off. Okay, there we go. So I think we're, we're good. We're going to go to the library and double check. And let's see. I mean, this is uh, – we'll click the album. Looks like we are in – the right order here, we got uh, – hmm. we were missing some tracks. Oh, there it goes. Whew. Had me worried there for a second. It takes YouTube music a second to upload. So here we go. Might as well, Cassidy, Roll Jimmy, Looks Like Rain. They love each other. Um, uh oh, missing track six. Where's Lazy Lightning at? Might, might not have – Hmm. Is there a lazy lightning in there? Yeah, it'd be right here before supplication. Uh, huh. Yeah, lazy lightning's right here. Let me hit refresh again. Maybe it's just coming in late. Like I hit refresh again. There it is. Man, just got to hit refresh. Making me look bad on the video, but <laughs> I got it. So there you go. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 tracks all in order. June 3rd, 1976, that sweet, slow, 76 summer, Grateful Dead. Uh, man, nothing beat it. That 76 box set that came out last year, really uh, just just beautiful 76 shows. But anyways, wanted to uh, just kind of show you that. Uh, like I said, if you like the video, please click the like button. And that is how you upload or rip CDs, edit the metadata, add the artwork, put the tracks in the right order, Send it over to Google, uh, YouTube Music uh, without the need of the metadata editing through Google Play Music. All right. Thank you, guys. See you later.